Hi everyone, hi Mia. So today I thought I would show you through my D&D backpack. So this is the backpack I take with me every time I go to D&D. It's um, from Typo. I got it for Mother's Day and I definitely did not take it off the shelf and definitely did not walk it all the way up to the cash register to make sure that I didn't end up with wooden spoons and socks again. Definitely didn't do that. But my kids gave me this for Mother's Day. And so I'm going to show you everything I take with me to d, &D. I should state that obviously I take my cell phone, which I'm filming on right now, and I also take a microphone which I'm using right now. So on the front here I just have various pens and keychains. This one was made from someone I did a collaboration video with and we sent each other mystery books and he gave me this keychain that he wove and I think it's absolutely beautiful so that goes on here. Inside, oh, this, book, this is from Typo, this backpack. So it undoes with these little slide rings and we have a main pocket and a front pocket. And then in the front pocket here, I keep the character journal for my backup character, Knit. So that stays in there at the ready should the worst before my current character. But inside this backpack, it pops open, two snaps on either side to enlarge the opening. So this is looking inside my backpack. Um, first thing I'll pull out is I have this uh, dice tower, but it also can fit a can of fizzy drink in here, or a soda, as Americans call it. And then my brother 3D printed this for me, and I've just filled it in with a little bit of UV resin with a bit of glow powder in it so that it glows. So that's what I keep in my backpack. I take with me every time. I have my current character journal and it has a few pins on the front. It's obviously getting quite thick because a lot has happened to her and the group. Looking deeper into my bag, I have my dice necessity. I always take at least five or six sets of dice. I have a cell phone holder that my brother printed me and it has my character's name on it so that we can use D&D Beyond with ease. Which I really like D&D Beyond. I find it makes D&D far more accessible to um, other players. I also have a toe. Now my my character Seraphine, um, she's just started picking up random body bits and putting it into her backpack. And something that happened to a member of our party is that a drow guard cut off his toe, and so I picked it up. And I have drawn my character drew a smiley face on it and then the toe got magically enchanted so it can never be reattached or regrow so I take his toe around everywhere and my character wears it on a string around her neck because she thinks it's you know really beautiful. I have a pencil case with various pens and highlighters and each highlighter for my D&D journal I will represent something so blue highlighters represent mentions of magic this color represents location and so after I write my notes I'll go back and color code everything and it helps me reference things a lot quicker if we're trying to remember something I have my dice tray which I only do up this far and leave this side flat so that my little holder dice tower can sit like that and roll right into it. I also keep the player's handbook. It's got lots of 
sticky notes and things things I'm trying to remember and can reference quickly and the monster manual and everything with a little note is a monster that we have faced so far hand sanitizer I feel like that's a, a must I have this now I'll pull this out I've ordered this off Timu it's a, a backpack liner and the last backpack I was using fell apart quite quickly so I wanted to protect this new backpack so mostly everything sits in here Another thing I keep in here is a secondary cell phone holder just in case my 3D print one breaks and it has a little hole for my microphone plug to sit in because everyone in my party is okay with me voice recording all our sessions and then I take notes from the voice recordings because no one else takes notes, not even our DM. And I have a pack of Tarot, Tarot of the Abyss, because we are currently playing Out of the Abyss, the campaign. And my character can is proficient in tarot reading. So that is everything I keep. A bit wonky there. Everything I keep in my backpack. If you have any questions or suggestions of what to keep in my D&D backpack, things I um, would find useful or would be useful, I guess, to the rest of the group. We also have a you know, rotating who is on snacks and quite often when they can't remember it defaults to me because I bake, I stress bake a lot and so Normally there is a request for chocolate cake or for cookies or something. So when it's my turn I bake. I also take, you know, the standard chips and dip and drink. Now none of us, I believe, drink at D&D. &D, but the guys that I um, play with, they all like energy drinks. I can't drink them, I'm allergic. There's something in it makes the inside of my mouth just puff up like a chipmunk so I usually take Pepsi for myself and I might take you know Red Bull for them something funny though last time I took Red Bull one of the players drank three in the session and we played for about three hours he drank three in that one session and as I was listening to the voice recording he got faster and faster and faster with how he was as fast he was speaking. He wasn't even finishing a word before he started another one. He was just chattering, 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 chattering. It was really funny to listen to. But yes, this is everything I have in my D and D backpack. Just a quick little video. So if is anything you want to know or suggestions of what I should should keep and um let me know leave a comment leave a comment saying hi Mia I know she watches and I'm sure she'd love to see that and I'll see you in another video bye